Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 40 of 2018 regarding the adding of a new Article 6 to the Law Decree 1 of 1996 regarding electricity and water. The law stipulated that anyone who extends electrical cables without obtaining the necessary permission or incompatible with safety specifications will be penalized with a fine not exceeding 1,000 Bahraini dinars for having violated the rules, resolutions and regulations in implementation of the provisions of this law and in this case of recurrence will be imprisoned for a period not exceeding three months or a fine not exceeding 2,000 BD or both penalties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of officials in the kingdom where they reviewed a number of local issues. His Royal Highness stressed that it's equal, equally important to balance between the needs and requirements of development and the preservation of the cultural heritage of the kingdom. He noted that the government is keen to develop all towns and villages in Bahrain to achieve the aspirations of citizens while also focusing on preserving the historic sites of some areas. He reviewed the cooperation fields between the government, constitutional and regulatory institutions in the kingdom, noting the importance of this cooperation for the development of work and optimizing, optimization of resources. His Royal Highness has highlighted the importance of the National Audit Office's report in supporting the government's efforts towards administrative development and preserving public funds. His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today in Gudaybiyah Palace members of Al Baharna family headed by Sadiq Al Baharna who expressed their appreciation to His Royal Highness for his sincere condolences on the demise of the family's deceased. His Royal Highness highlighted the strong social fabric of the Bahraini community, noting that such closeness is the basis of coexistence that characterizes the kingdom. He added that it is everyone's responsibility to maintain social harmony which contributes to the development of the kingdom. He recalled with appreciation the contributions of older generations in defending the country and reinforcing its process and development. al Bahana family members valued the stances of His Royal Highness with citizens on all occasions, wishing him abundant health.
the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized and attended the final games of the Ladies League, the Expatriates League, and the Clubs League under the slogan Generations Forum. In the ceremony, His Highness crowned the winners of the final games. This tournament comes within the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid that support the youth in the sports and humanitarian field. And upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham al Jodar, and the Under Secretary for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also attended the league's exhibition. He affirmed the success of the league, which contributed to enriching the sports movement in the kingdom, and achieved the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aims to increase youth programs and activities. He added that this league also achieved the aspirations of His Royal Highness a Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also added that the league comes within the policies of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Association Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to organize programs and activities for the youth. He praised the efforts of the Minister of Youth and Sports which aided the success of the league as well as the efforts of the Supreme Organizing Committee. He noted that one of the features that the league is the participation of youth centers and national clubs that are not affiliated with the Bahrain Football Federation. He expressed keenness to include people with disabilities in the league which stems from the keenness to increase the youth programs directed at them and their integration into Bahraini society and sports. His Highness added that the participation of communities in the league affirms Bahrain's support to communities. The ceremony began with the honoring of sponsors. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also crowned the SAR team for the national clubs category, the Senate Youth Center for the Youth Center category, the Egyptian community for the communities category, the Ministry of Interior for the ministries category, and the Olympics team for the people with disabilities category.
The final days of the matches witnessed distinguished atmosphere as usual. A huge crowd of fans made their way to watch the final matches of the 6th Khalid bin Hamad futsal tournament and the extinguishing of its flame to ensure further success of the tournament, which has been gaining popularity with every new addition both regionally and internationally. Well, first of all, I'm very thankful for His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa uh, for sponsoring and, and patronizing, patronizing this, this, this tournament. Um, it brings everyone together in the summertime where you know, we think about what we want to do. Um, when we have something that we love, we love football, we love indoor football, uh, and His Highness is uh, embracing us all in his tournament, uh, it really um, it ticks a lot of boxes. Uh, one that brings us all together, one that makes us uh, being active and athletic. The sixth edition of the tournament has surpassed the past years and has become a huge success not just in terms of the number of participants, but also because this year the tournament had an international flavor with the inclusion of the international community's teams and the participation of ministries. The organization was very, very good, um, like better than a, uh, all the years we have been participating, but this year was very special. More than 83 uh, teams and more than 1,500 players this is really a very, very excellent sport event, and we're honored to be part of this one. And, of course, we are very happy and glad that we took the first place. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the 2018 tournament brought together more than 1,000 athletes from 80 teams from six different sectors under one roof, as it continues to be one of the pioneering programs aimed at equipping and empowering thousands of Bahraini youth with experiences and opportunities. So first of all, I'd like to thank the Sheikh, of course, for presenting such a wonderful opportunity for girls to compete so competitively against really good teams. And it's really good to have this competition to improve our skills and to work with other teams. I'd like to say thank you to the coaches, my team for being amazing and being with us throughout the whole thing. And also all the people that came out to watch the games, the referees, everyone that put it together. It was amazing to take part in and it was a very good experience and I will never remember, forget it. First thing, thanks for uh, Highness Sheikh uh, Khalid bin Hamad for making this tournament for all the girls and boys to to make a challenge between them and today we are the champion for the girls we are waiting for uh, this moment about uh, one year we are uh, last year we was the second and today we are the first an award ceremony took place to congratulate the winning teams and the best players who have shown endless potential and high level performances throughout the tournament Appreciation awards were also presented to organizations that supported the competition, which highlights the tournament's and kingdom's efforts in encouraging and enhancing both the sports and youth sectors. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Highness the President of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, received today the Commander of the Peninsula Shield Joint Force, Major General Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed Al Bluey. His Highness congratulated the recently appointed commander, wishing him success in his duties and stressed the role undertaken by the PSJF in safeguarding the boundaries of the GCC states and deterring against any external dangers. He praised the efforts of the PSJF in consolidating the GCC countries' shared bonds and common goal. The commander praised His Highness's efforts in the National Guard modernization and safeguarding the kingdom's security and the protection of its accomplishments. The Secretary-General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halan Ansari, held yesterday an open meeting with the participating youth in the elections of the Youth Council 2030 held in Youth City recently, which resulted in the winning of 12 candidates. Al Ansari congratulated the winners and expressed pride with the enthusiasm of young people participating in the Voice of Youth 2030. She stressed the importance of this program in introducing youth to the basis principle, basic principles of the electoral process, as well as the role of the Council of Representatives and the Municipal Councils, especially since the elections took place in a very similar atmosphere to the national elections in terms of the existence of an electoral center and electoral committee. She also noted the importance of this program in promoting the values of belonging and citizenship, developing the skills of the youth in the field of political work, and qualifying them to join political life, and the presence of distinguished Bahraini women as voters and candidates in these elections. Al Ansara reviewed the fruitful experience of the winning youth and discussed with them their suggestions on the development and diversification of youth city programs. 
The Ministry of Education began the preparation and maintenance of school buildings and providing the needs of school classes, laboratories and facilities in cooperation with the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to ensure the school's readiness for the next school year. The maintenance comes in implementation of the Government Action Program which affirmed the necess necessity for rehabilitating and maintaining school facilities to ensure the sustainability of providing high quality educational services. A specialized team visited the schools to inspect the progress of comprehensive and preventive maintenance and its consistency with the schedule. As part of its cultural exchange programs, the U.S. Embassy invited Missoula Children's Theater to take part in bah Bahrain Summer Festival in coordination with Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. More on this report with Heba Abdel Ghaffar. Arts play an important role in building bridges between different cultures and deepening the understanding between communities. Therefore, the U.S. Embassy invited actors from Missoula Children's Theater to take part in Bahrain Summer Festival in coordination with Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. It's been an amazing week here in Bahrain. I've just enjoyed every minute of it. Hannah and I, we came here on Tuesday. We auditioned 40 amazing kids. They all got into the show. They learned their show in three days. That was it. And what an incredible festival to be a part of and to join in and just celebrate all the hard work that these kids have done. They really have done an amazing job, phenomenal through the roof. Missoula Children's Theatre is an American nonprofit organization that highlights the power of creativity, a commitment to excellence, and the belief that theatre facilitates the universal desire to connect. They have been in Bahrain for a week to present a series of workshops, conduct auditions for children, and perform the play Pinocchio. It's been an amazing experience being here in Bahrain. These kids have brought this show Pinocchio to life in ways that I had never imagined. I never knew that our cast was going to be so diverse and we're going to have kids from so many different experiences, but they have brought their own individual personalities. Everyone here has been incredibly hospitable to us. We've been so excited to just talk to people and get to know their personal stories. It's been an incredible experience from day one. Pinocchio play was performed at the Nakhul tent in Arad with the participation of Bahraini children as actors. It's such a great way to develop those children's communication and artistic skills and most important, provide them with a great cultural exchange experience. This show is probably one of the most fun I've ever done. It's a mixture of all different cultures. I've been able to meet so many different people. I've been able to meet so many friends. And I've been able to understand a little bit about different people and where they've come from, what they've done, how they've managed to get here, and a little bit of backstory of their lives. And I suppose we've also been able to help each other, help each other get through all the different difficulties of the show, learning our lines, trying to find where we need to go, trying to find what we need to do, and to make sure that everything is perfect. Bahrain and the United States of America have a strong and enduring partnership on so many levels, and art is certainly one of them. Since art speaks all languages, through art and don't underestimate art, the cultural exchange program between Bahrain and the United States continues to strengthen the bond between the two friendly countries. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffar.